Let us see about sinusoidal pulse width modulation. We know a PWM inverter, the switches are turned on and off several times within each cycle. So this is done to eliminate the lower order harmonics because it is difficult to filter out the lower order harmonics. Higher order harmonics can be easily filtered out. There are different PWM techniques, single pulse modulation and multiple pulse width modulation, which we have already seen in the chapter 46. In both the cases, the carrier wave is a triangular one and reference wave will be a square wave. In sinusoidal pulse width modulation, the carrier wave remains the same triangular waveform, but the reference wave will be sinusoidal. So in this video, we will be seeing about the sinusoidal pulse width modulation. In sinusoidal pulse width modulation, you can see here there is a triangular carrier wave which is compared with the reference sine wave. And whenever this sine wave magnitude exceeds the triangular waveform, so see this period, here the sine wave is greater than the triangular wave, so you will get a pulse here. And you can observe that here the pulse width is not constant. In the previous two cases, the pulse width will be constant, but in this case, pulse width is not constant and it is a function of a sine wave. And you can see that this reference wave um, frequency is equal to the fundamental frequency. So if I want 50 hertz, I have to give a 50 hertz reference sine wave. You have to know about two terms in sinusoidal pulse width modulation. So first thing is the modulation index which will control the harmonic content in the output voltage waveform. So you have uh, two waves here, a triangular wave and the uh, reference wave, sinusoidal wave. So the ratio of Vr by Vc is called the modulation index the magnitude of the two waves, this ratio will decide the harmonic content present in the output voltage waveform as well as the magnitude of the output voltage waveform will be decided by this factor. So here this MA that is the modulation index is always less than 1. It means that the sine wave magnitude is always less than the triangular waveform magnitude. So MA will be always less than 1. Next is uh, frequency modulation which is the ratio of the frequency of the two signals. So if you take this waveform there are 9 triangular waveform 1, 2, 3. So if you calculate you will get 9 in one sine wave. So MF is equal to 9 in this case. So in most of the cases, we can consider it to be less than or equal to 9. So depending upon the number, this number, the number of pulses appearing in the output waveform will change because this will decide how many intersections will occur. So number of pulses will change. If number of pulses changes, harmonic content and magnitude of the output voltage will change. So always choose this MF to be an odd value so that the waveform satisfies quarter symmetry and even harmonics becomes zero. And this MF will decide the frequency at which harmonics will occur. So if I choose MF equal to 9, I will get 9th harmonic, 7th and 11th harmonic. So based on the amplitude modulation index, you can control the output voltage of the inverter in three methods. One is called linear modulation where MA is always kept less than or equal to 1. And another is over modulation where MA will be greater than 1. And 
a square wave modulation this is nothing but the normal square wave inverter which we have studied earlier that is the single phase full bridge inverter where you get a square wave output so that is a square wave modulation so in linear modulation uh, we have seen that m is less than 1 so if you see the harmonic spectrum in this case you see here ma is kept as 0.8 so if you see the fundamental component fundamental component n is equal to 1 is the fundamental component and that is uh, that magnitude is equal to 0.8 so the peak value of the co fundamental component is directly proportional to ma so this modulation index plays an important role in linear range of modulation that is when ma is kept less than 1 Let us see the harmonics in the output voltage in the linear range. We can see that there are no lower order harmonics. Harmonics occur only around this uh, frequency modulation ratio MF. Here we have taken 15 as MF. So you will get 15th harmonic as the dominant one and 13th and 17th will occur as side bands. We know there are no even harmonics in the output voltage. And if you take two times of MF, that is a multiple of MF, 30 is a even number. So even harmonics don't exist, but the side bands will appear. So 29 and 31 will be there, even 27 and 33 will appear. Now, already we have seen that in linear range, the mod output voltage is directly proportional to the modulation index. But the problem is you will, you will get a reduced fundamental component in the linear range. So if you want to high, if you want a higher output voltage, you have to increase the modulation ratio more than one. So what is more than one? If this sine wave magnitude is greater than this triangular magnitude, then you will get this modulation ratio greater than 1. So that is called over modulation region. So MA is greater than 1. So in this case, you will get higher output voltage. So you can see here, this red color waveform corresponds to over modulation because the number of here the sign magnitude is greater than the triangular one in this case the number of intersection has reduced so pulse width will change next if you take a square wave modulation you will get only two intersections that is at 0 and 180 degree so this is achieved by having a higher magnitude of sign wave that is MA will be greater than 3.24 in case we consider MF equal to 15. So in this case, you can see there are only two intersections, this point and 180 degree. So you will get a full pulse. This is similar to the square wave inverter. So let us see over modulation. So in over modulation, MA is greater than 1 and compared to the linear range, the amplitude of the fundamental component will be increased in over modulation region. And the output voltage depends upon the frequency modulation ratio. In linear region, it is directly proportional to the modulation index MA, but in over modulation region, it starts to depend upon MF. And the output voltage contains more harmonics in side bands as compared with the linear range. So if you see the harmonics due to over modulation, so here we have taken MA equal to 2.5. Okay, because MA should be greater than 1 for over modulation region. If you see here, the fundamental component has increased. So in linear range, you will get only 0.8. 
but in this case it has increased but you see the lower order harmonics are present in this one whereas in linear range you won't get this lower order harmonics you will get around only this mf so the only advantage of over modulation is that your fundamental component will increase but this introduces lower order harmonics which are difficult to eliminate so over modulation may be used in certain applications like induction motor drives square wave modulation so this is also a special case of sine pwm and in this case ma is a very large value and here the output voltage is independent of modulation index always you will get a fixed output of 4 by pi vs so the advantage is that here switches will be to, that is each switch will conduct for 180 degree so this a square wave type of modulation is preferred in very high power level because you cannot switch at a very high frequency in very high power level applications. The disadvantage is that the output voltage magnitude cannot be controlled in square wave. That is the reason we go for sinusoidal pulse width modulation. Let us see the harmonics due to square wave modulation. So the magnitude will be high, it will be equal to 4 by pi value and if you see here also you will get lower order harmonics. So only uh, best thing is linear range. Let us have a summary of that. So amplitude modulation index, frequency modulation index. And in linear range, you will get low output voltage, but the harmonics will be around only switching frequency or around MF. In over modulation region and the square wave modulation region, you will get higher output voltage, but uh, lower order harmonics will occur, which is, our, uh, which is difficult to eliminate. Again, we will see about two different switching techniques that is how switches are turned on and off in sinusoidal pulse width modulation. So there are two techniques one is bipolar voltage switching in which only one sine wave is used. Another is unipolar voltage switching in which two sine waves are used. In bipolar voltage switching only one reference sine wave is used and here two switches that is T1 and T2 are triggered at the same instant and T3 and T4 are triggered at the same instant. So when T1 and T2 are on, so when this um, T1 and T2 are on when this reference voltage is greater than the so you see this period here the sine wave is greater than the triangular wave so in that case T1 and will be T1 T2 will be turned on and when this sine wave is lesser than the triangular wave T3 and T4 will be turned on and if you see the output voltage it varies between plus Vs to minus Vs. So since the voltage changes between plus Vs and minus Vs, we call it as a bipolar pulse width modulation. In unipolar voltage switching, two reference waves will be used. Plus Vr and minus Vr will be used. And with plus Vr, you will switch on devices T1 and T4. And with minus VR, we can switch on T3 and T2. So two reference waves are used and each leg will be turned separately, turned on separately. That is when VR is greater than, plus VR is greater than uh, this triangular wave, you will give a pulse for T1 and you nod that pulse and give it to T4. And similarly, you compare with minus VR and give 
with the pulse for T3 and T2. So you will get four conditions. So these are the pulses and if you see the output voltage, here the output voltage changes between 0 and plus Vs and 0 and minus Vs. So this has three levels, so we call it as a unipolar pulse width modulation. So only plus and zero is there, so you call it as unipolar. So if you see the harmonics due to unipolar PWM, you can see that around the MF no harmonics are there, but twice the MF harmonics will be there. Since 2 MF is an uh, even number, you will have only side bands. So the points to remember here are the pulse width is a sinusoidal function and the modulation, uh, the modulation index controls the harmonic content in the output voltage waveform. So you have three regions, linear, over modulation and square wave. And in bipolar voltage switching, one reference sine wave is used and it is easy to implement. In unipolar voltage switching, two reference sine waves are used and devices in each leg are switched separately. And this has low harmonic content, but it is complex to implement. If you like the video, do subscribe to Read Electric Vehicle channel. Thank you.